Space. The final frontier. These are the voyages of a new Trekkie. My five year mission to search out Star Trek media, to seek out our fans and merchandise, to boldly go where no fan has gone before. Well, we're back to looking at episodes of Star Trek Enterprises episodes Daedalus, I believe, and Observer Effect. Let's look at Daedalus first. And what happened in this episode? Well, um, as the crew of the Enterprise helped Dr. Imori Erickson conduct experiments Experiment, yeah. Conduct experimental transporter tests. A dangerous anomaly is detected on board. So, on when I was watching this episode, I thought the acting, whether it was from Bill Cobbs or Leslie Silva, I thought they both did a great job. In that, you know, say we don't really know at first, like. What are their goals? What are they trying to do? But as the story goes on, you realize that Dr. Erickson, his whole character is basically a man going through mourning and at the same time trying to not only really accept the fact that, hey, his son is slowly at the pace of death, if, you know, so basically they're trying to get him out of a transporter and but if he gets out of the transporter he will pass i do think he does a great job near the end of the episode when he is when he's consoling his son uh quinn i believe the name was and i do kind of like the fact that captain archer he has relationships with so many, so at times some things do get personal, like when he, like say, hey, I remember you, or hey, it's been so many years since we have seen each other, and yeah, I think sometimes when you have um, characters in Trek, it's always good to have a, like a emotional connection to some care, like a like the main character have two other characters so they can like say branch off the main story that they're trying to tell but overall i gotta say this episode was honestly i mean you mean that use that word again pretty good um and yeah uh but I'll, one thing that like say so yeah like um like the apparently the experiment though was that uh, he had been like lost in the transport for 15 years. So, yeah, that's quite a long time. Not to think about it. Um, so, yeah, let's look at the next episode, which is the episode Observer Effect. So, um, both of these episodes use what is known as a bottle episode, like, where, like, um, to save money, you are t having the story take place on one set. Um, so, yeah, they basically, they want me to able to stay on the Enterprise. No, um, outside, like, you know, on planets or other things like that. Hello! Well, hi! Nine Spruce! Well, I'm Dory. Uh, but what was this episode? This episode sees the, a the alien in these test the Enterprise crew by observing their reactions to a deadly silicon-based infection. And it was the aliens know the Organians. Um, would occur about a century later during the events of the original series, Errand of Mercy. First to be on our side. Two hundred hostages killed. No one has been killed, Captain. No one has died here. In uncounted thousands of years. You are liars. You're meddling in things that are none of your business. 
even if you have some power that we don't understand, you have no right to dictate to our Federation or our empire. It's been a while since I perhaps seen that episode, so I do have to say it's kind of strange, like, at first I couldn't really tell, like, say, wait. Like, it was a bit, at first it was kind of a bit drawing, like, say, wait. Like, when, uh, both Hoshi and, Tuck and Tucker are in quarantine, and everyone's just, like, saying, like, they're watching them, they're trying to keep, like, saying, what's going on here? Are they okay? And... Yeah, I, at first I didn't really get the, the idea of like say, oh, so they're all the characters in the episode are possessed, and especially like when we see um, Archer and T'Pol when they're both being possessed, it didn't make me think like, especially like when uh, I'm trying to think uh. Was it uh, the Dr. Flox? Yeah, at the same time. Um... Doctor, I'm curious to know how you think these tests will help you develop an effective treatment. So am I. I mean, are you approaching this strictly on a symptomatic level, or do you believe there's any similarity to other conditions you've seen in the past? <sighs> it, it, at first, I couldn't really tell he was, he was being... You know, and you know, having the organian inside of him. I guess because at first I didn't really see he. Oh, he. Uh, they're all being strange. But at the same time, like as you slowly watch it, you kind of get the idea whether it is when both Re when Reed and others and like say, "Hey, we need to watch these guys. We need to figure like how they're doing and all that." So I would say. The episode has a bit of like a thriller kind of vibe and like like who do we trust? Like do we trust our crew members through so this and all that? And I thought after having thought about it for a bit, it kind of works. It does make me wonder though, um, do the aliens, the organians, do they just like leave stop possessing everyone at the end of the episode? Because at the end of the episode it seems that Reed he goes like say, well, uh, these aliens, they, we, these humans, they should seem to be knowing what they're doing and all that. So, it just makes me wonder, like, are they going to appear again in this show? Because I think eventually, like, that'd be intriguing. But, I mean, I thought the acting and all that was pretty good. Overall, both of these episodes were A+, I'd say. See you next time.